Go. All right, so we got Prof versus Reg King. Usually the outcome of this is um, Prof usually rates Reg King. But we could have, today's quite a change. I lost a BA, which is the first time ever. Uh, we could have a Reg King being a Prof as well. It's pretty, getting pretty interesting between the top five in UK right now. Uh, Reg King trying to space the edge guard too well. Uh, too well, in fact, they didn't even hit. All right, just got some lasers. I can have some damage, but not enough. Clearly not enough. 5%. Doesn't choose to do a J, man. <laughs> Finally, it's like I could cost. Fox in the middle of the stage, not good for Moff. And Moff does definitely. Moff wants to try to control the stage. He wants to try to stay in the middle where it's the best. Well, where he's by the edge, is quite limited, and Fox can neutral end quite easily. Alright, we've got um, Red King. Keep off the edge again. Screwing up another edge guard. Which is not good. But Rich King's got pretty good knowledge. He's not actually constantly getting hit. Like, if you're not too good with Moth and you play against a, a solid fox, as soon as they hit you, you'll get about 80% or your stock will go. Here comes the read. Ah, doesn't read the get up attack. Some chain grabs. Oh. If he got that, that could have been a stock. <laughs> got some grab mine games going on. Some good reads. Mm, Rich King's pretty much controlling right now. Oh, I missed time. Basically, um, if you time your attack perfectly, when they get up on the edge, you can hit them no matter where they attack. That's another part of this game. And um, what's funny about this game is whenever you lose a stock, you have to move around, try to avoid them, which is not really in any other game. You don't get in this video frames for so long. And right now, Prop's trying to, well, maybe not. Maybe he's not trying to get the hit. Maybe she's being cocky and running away. <laughs> but, um, here's a part which is really bad for Moth. But Edwin's kind of re regained control, not completely, but he got close to the middle of the stage. It's really important. Um, give me another grab. Yep. Ah, uh, screws up the setup. Some really solid play from Reg King, but he's not getting the best out of his grabs. Hmm. Right now, Prop can bring it back in just two hits, pretty much. Or again, it's not happening. Some nice spacing. Oh, that falls back in nowhere. <laughs> what the hell? So I'm kind of watching as well. I wonder why I'm not commentating too much. A good forward there. Push Fox away, stopping him getting a shine spike. This could be stuck. Mm. Oh, he went backwards. This is really strange. Uh, that could have been a tip definitely. It's pretty close. Oh, that Fox is out there for quite a long time. Alright, we've got some grab up there. Some, some taking the lead, man. Cross goal today is to prove he's UK number one. Oh, we've got a grab tip. The Chris Boy special. Chris Boy right next to me. You smiling at that? Ah, oh, impatient. <laughs> it's really tight. Could be anyone's game right now. But Frost getting the good lead, keeping Moth in the air where Moth never wants to be. Ooh, there's a risky attack that gets away with it though. Getting a bit aggressive. Oh, Zorbans. Oh, some good DI. If he didn't DI that at all, oh, it doesn't matter. If he didn't DI the first one, he definitely would have died. He went straight up. So Prop takes the first one. Really close. Cut my life in two pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> Edwin gives the middle finger. <laughs> Do you want to say go again? Right. Um, apparently Prop banned FD. The pussy is. Fucking pussy. Pussy pussy. Mm. 
What's happening with the rest of the bracket? Frostbite, Chris Boyd, you have to play anyone? Are you sure? I've checked. Alright, so again, not not too much lead, just a little lead, but it doesn't really mean much of it, 10-20% up in this game. A whole stock and a high percentage lead is a good lead. Yeah. One stock does, is not really a strong lead in this game. Alright, let's see if Prof can keep up this lead. It's usually Prof who gets the first stock on default. Good recovery. Sucks though. Muff, um, Muff has one of the most recoveries in the game. It's one of the best in terms of getting back, but you can get back, but it's not safe. That's the problem. Like, sometimes he's forced to go on a stage and get hit, which really sucks. Just keeping him in the air, like his brawl. We love you, really, bro. Uh, that could be an answer. Oh, some good spacing from there. This could be quite strongly soon, if he doesn't get the stop. Ah, uh, that's it. Let's just take the edge. That's the thing a lot of moves complain about, is taking the edge. Because it's pretty skanky if you think about it, but when you want to win, that's what you got to do. <laughs> Alright, we got to set up. Uh, reacts to it, hits him right away. One to that easy kill. Oh, that could be a tiffle, no doubt. Oh, applying the pressure. And he's bringing it back, man. Before it was like a 60% lead, now it's completely equal. Next strong hit could pretty much bring back. Oh, Reed just jump. Really good read. I think if he'd done the Shine Out Shield properly, it would have been it. Because Shine is pretty much one frame, so. <laughs> so this game can be quite tactical, but it must be really bullshit, sometimes you can't do very much. It depends on the percentage, it depends how you DI. <laughs> so, yeah, typical muff, grab, typical fox, shine. And up for up here, of course. Or if you want to be a random muff, random force muff, you know? One thing that's been known for a long time in this game, um, with Marv, is that um, he can do two forward airs and a short hop. Like, in this game there's a short hop and a full jump. Um, if you tap the um, X button or Y button really softly and fast him, you get a short hop basically. Which is um, a much faster jump. And it's much safer, definitely. It's like, if you full jump in the air, you're going to be much more open and you'll get hit easier. But it depends on the situation, sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's good to be above them, cover some ground, or do some air spacing in this game, because this game's got quite a lot of spacing involved with it. Um, back to the match. Um, Red King's got a pretty strong lead, and I think that's it. Some bad DI. It's 1 1. <laughs> Sorry if I'm explaining a bit too much, but it's nice to give a bit of insight about the game, so people don't understand. So now we have the counter pick. With the Pokemon Stadium, which is quite bad for Marth. When the stage changes, it's not really good because Marth's really good on flat stages because he gets the advantage of chain grab and gets some easy combos. But Fox is an all around character, he's good on every type of stage. Hence being the best character in the game, but apparently people say it's Jigglypuff, but I still think it's Fox. No doubt. If you're a solid Fox, solid tech skill, you should win. But everyone has their bad games. Alright, so we've got Prof trying to get grabs, he loves his grabs, in fact. It's going pretty equal right now, in terms of games, this game in general. Uh, people shouldn't be fooled for that. Funny enough, um, the illusion, the side B for Fox and Brawl is much faster, and, and Falco as well, so it's really, it's, it's kind of lame, because it's really impossible to react to. Or maybe it's me, but I think it is. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm not definitely going to get back from that. <laughs> Opportunity. Risky. Uh, not a sweet spot. Yeah. I think I saw a sigh from camping. It's a smart move from Prof. Uh, it's the second smart move from Edwin, doing a crouch cancel. Um, the thing about crouch cancel is if you're on a low percentage, depending on the move, you can um, you can withstand it basically, and you can hit them back or grab them right away, or you can just move right away. It's up to you. But um, if you're on a low percentage and you think they're going to hit them, you could use it to your advantage. Let them hit you on purpose, and then get something from it. Some good spacing, moving backwards while Fox approaching. Ah, oh, misses a wave dash. That's a, that's a really good tactic. Basically, um, Fox has some lag frames from his down air. If he doesn't L cancel it properly, and um, because of the amount of lag frames, Muff has enough time to RB in before, before he gets out the animation. Back to his neutral animation. Ah. Uh, And um, that's basically one of Fox's best like traits. You can have for up there nearly any character. Some characters can avoid it for free because um, they're much lighter and better weights. But um, the best way to avoid it is to um, smash the eye slightly backwards or backwards completely. And as soon as the first hit hits you, you smash the eye the other way. So um, maybe my, my explanation is not the best. But if you check on Smash Wars or any like Smash Wikipedia, it explains how to de ice Fox's up there so you don't get hit. Like most of the time. But it's really hard. You're not going to get it all the time. But if you practice, you're definitely going to get it. Alright, this could be Edwin's. It could be one grab situation. It could be props. One up for up air. He's racking up percentage. He knows the exact percentage. I remember last time I played him, he goes, I'm going to lazy one more time so I can up throw up at you. Prof once I grab. Not anymore. It's a good recovery. Alright, now it's really risky. Prof has the same centers. If he gets by anything that slices him away, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Basically, at, at 40%, 30%, if Fox gets Fox get hit by like an up air, an up to um, a, a tip of forward air, 2 1 to Prof, um, at that percentage, if he gets hit, Muff will definitely get a combo or grab from it. I'm just explaining things, man. I'm saying my commentary is a bit biased. I can't really say much for Fox. His combos are really simple. They're just very repetitive to be fair. Sometimes you can get some really flashy combos, but it doesn't happen very often in a tournament. Like, sometimes it's just single hits. It depends on the player. Alright, we've got an early lead start from Edwin. See if you can get quite a good lead. Uh. Also, um, Neutra is quite risky against Fox. It's quite a small character. Um, when you use Neutra, to make sure the perfect range, or if they're going to jump into you, that's the best time to use it. Or mid combo, obviously. But a lot of people say the forward air is much better for comboing. Exactly. Ah, oh. hit by a tip this way. <laughs> oh. Prof, for a fact, loves the shines. <laughs> Trying to beat him, but he got hit doing it. Really risky. Oh. J Man would be very proud, man. <laughs> they got to J Man. <laughs> J-Man, a.k.a. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Prof ain't Jesus, but he's something, man. <laughs> he's beat me, like, twice now. Yeah, he beat me today. I don't know what to say anymore, man. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna join, that's it, innit? <laughs> I'm gonna be bare you. 
on these and plays blue tournaments, on these and smash tournaments. Next time I'm gonna be losing like I don't know, losing university. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh. Mistimed it. And he got a gay kill. I'm sorry if people don't like the word gay, but you know, that's what I'm gonna say, allow it. <laughs> I think after this um, I'm gonna let LJ do commentary. He's pretty good. And that's 3-1. Good game to Prof and Edwin.